What's up guys, welcome to iDevice Central channel, I'm Joe Snow and today I have great news for you in terms of iOS beta updates. So Apple apparently managed to release finally the iOS 10.1 public beta which is uh, seeded, was seeded yesterday and you can download right now. I'm going to put a link in the description, a direct link to the Apple beta program which is free. But apparently this beta is more focused on the iPhone 7 Plus, the new model that, that appeared a couple of weeks ago. And uh, it actually includes the new feature called the uh, portrait mode for the, uh, the camera. It works with both the cameras from the iPhone 7 Plus, you probably know that the 7 Plus has two cameras, and makes basically the device to uh, be able to focus on, uh, on an element and remove the background out of it. it gets the uh, background blurry as you can see in the image posted by 9to5Mac and uh, focuses on the object from uh, the um, from the nearest point. So this is basically just for the iPhone 7 Plus who has two cameras, all the other devices won't probably be able to use this feature due to the lack of the second camera. Well, but the uh, most important thing out of this thing is the fact that it changes the world of jailbreak a little bit. As you can probably know, Pangu managed to jailbreak the iOS 10 actually when it was in the first beta, probably in June. But since then, we didn't hear, hear anything about the, any jailbreak from Pangu. They uh, eventually released the iOS 9.2 to iOS 9.3.3, 64-bit device only jailbreak. And we don't have any word about the iOS 10 update, but this kind of changed anything because if Apple releases the iOS 10.1, this means that Pangu has, of course, to wait until the iOS 10 is fully released and given the fact that it's still in beta, this means that uh, we should expect a new jailbreak by the end of October or the uh, beginning of the November and something like this. This is unfortunate, but this is simply how it is because if Pangu has been working on a jailbreak for iOS 10.0.1, which probably is happening in background, as you probably know, and Apple has patched the exploits used in, uh, in that jailbreak, then Pangu can't release that, or it can be different. It can be the fact that Apple can release the uh, iOS 10.1, but until they do that, Pangu can release a jailbreak for iOS 10.0.1 or 10.0.2. But that's less probable, and I think that they will um, they're, they're just basically wait for the iOS 10.1 to drop, in order to make sure that Apple isn't patching their moves. Because keep in mind that if Pangu releases a jailbreak right now for the iOS 10.0.1, their exploits are going to get patched when the iOS 10.1 will be fully released for the public, which would be unfortunate. But we just have to keep waiting. So there is no word for jailbreaking at this point, but we know it's possible because hacker Luca Tedesco managed to do that and he managed to also do that on the iPhone 7. In this picture he posted on his Twitter, you can see that he's got his iPhone 7 uh, or 7 Plus, I don't recognize it. And he got iOS 10.0.1 uh, jailbroken, as you can see from the image. But do not get your, um, do not get your hopes very high on this because he is not planning to release anything because Luca Tedesco said himself that he's not going to release jailbreaks. In fact, he only helps other teams, for example, Pangu or Taiji, with exploits or other um, parts of his work, but he never released a jailbreak utility. So keep that in mind, don't get your, um, your hopes too high, but keep in mind that it's jailbreakable and in fact it's not impossible. The new uh, processor the uh, Apple 10 Fusion from inside the iPhone 7 was rumored to be uh, harder to be jailbroken, but as you can see, it's not. Well, you can stay update, up to date on uh, the uh, jailbreak and how it unfolds by going to my playlist, iOS Jailbreak Updates, and subscribing to the playlist by clicking the plus button. Of course, you need to be signed in and you will stay updated. Well, basically, if you're not a developer and you don't want to install any betas, which I don't recommend. I don't recommend installing betas because betas tend not to be very stable. That's why they're in beta. You can still go to the settings and if you're on 10.0.1, you should have a, um, uh, you should have 
an update for your device. You can see it right here. If I go right here, I have 10.0.2. This update is available in case you didn't um, update to it already and seems to be fixing a couple of bugs that I already saw on my device. So 10.0.2 addresses the uh, an issue that could prevent headphone audio control from, uh, from temporarily not working and uh, resolves the issue that caused photos to quit for some users when turning on iCloud Photo li Library. Fixes an issue that prevented an amp enabling some app extensions. Well, the uh, update is very small. It has only uh, 52.6 megabits. And if you didn't update to it already, I suggest you to do so because it's important, seems to be fixing some bugs. But if you want to install the uh, iOS 10.1 beta, you're going to have a uh, link in the description to the uh, Apple profile and you can do that. Well, as I said, you can stay up to date if you follow my video, but also if you want to get a full uh, log on what changes the iOS 10 and what changes it bring to the table, you have right here my iOS 10.0.1 GM uh, in-depth review, which gives you the exact uh, exact review you need to, to watch because iOS 10.0.1 was in fact the uh, GM. So guys, this is it. iOS 10.1 is on the table. Probably Pango will wait for iOS 10.1 to be released before they do anything. And I know it's unfortunate, but we should expect a jailbreak by the end of October or in November. That's because Apple probably will uh, create more uh, betas for the iOS 10.1 and keep in mind that iOS 10.1 is the first uh, new major um, release since the iOS 10 public release. So keep that in mind, it's jailbreakable, sorry, and it's still um, it's still in business. As you can see from, uh, from Luca Tedesco's posts, it's not impossible to jailbreak, nor the iPhone 7, neither the iOS 10. So Stay tuned, subscribe to stay updated, and till the next time, peace out.